Hey everyone, just going to make a video on how to use one click root clockwork mod version 3.0.0.6 to convert from RFS file system to ext4 file system and how to flash a custom ROM, particularly the Syndicate Frozen ROM version 1.1.0. Uh, that's my favorite ROM out right now, um, so I'm going to show you guys the steps you need to take to root your phone and flash this ROM. Uh, first of all, what you're going to need is uh, the drivers for your Samsung Epic. Uh, go to this website, I'll post all links in the description as always. Uh, right here, if you go to this website, uh, down here, whether you're 64-bit, 32-bit, uh, download those drivers, install them. Make sure you got them on your computer. Uh, also, what I would also recommend is getting rid of your Samsung uh, micro USB cable that came with your phone. Uh, it's it's junk. Um, a lot of problems you see with not being able to root your phone or mount your SD card to your computer have to do with your micro SD card. I'd recommend going to Amazon and just buying buying uh, another micro USB cable. I have no troubles with a BlackBerry cable. Uh, those work great for me, so I would highly recommend buying a different micro USB cable in case you're having problems with that. Okay, so after you have your drivers installed, ready to go, uh, what you're going to need to do is go to your phone. Um, right now, I am running uh, <clears throat> Android 2.2 EC05, which is the latest from Sprint. Um, show you that. I will go to About Phone right there. 4IO EC05, that's my build number. Um, I'll show you how to root that. Uh, one of the main things you're going to need to do is make sure that you have the... ROM on your SD card before you root your phone. Uh, that is, well, before you convert your file system. Let me say that. Uh, after uh, you convert your file system, you have to flash the ROM right away. You can't reboot and it'll just st stick you in a boot loop and you won't be able to do anything with your phone unless you use Odin. And I will, I will uh, uh, post a link of my video on how to use Odin in case something goes wrong and you need to go back to stock. Um, okay, so let's get into rooting. Um, you go to this website, and XDA developer's website, as always. Um, basically, it's one-click root clockwork mod version 3.0.0.6. Uh, you're going to have to download the files right under there. It's I know it says new for EB13, which is a version before EC05, but it works all the same. It works fine. Um, basically, click on this link, download the root and extract it to somewhere you're going to remember. I extracted it to my desktop. It is right there. Root 3.0.0.6. That's where I extracted it. Um, you're going to need that. Um, also, what you're going to need is the particular ROM that you would like to flash. The main key with ROMs that you need to flash uh, is that if you're going to use um, one click root clockwork mod 3.0.0.6 it's going to convert your file system to ext4 like i said you need to make sure any rom that you flash is ext4 compatible and basically when you go to the rom website here's the syndicate frozen syndicate rom frozen uh basically it will say right here uh let's see if i can get this focus right there designed for ext4 you need to make sure that you read up on the ROM's homepage, whatever ROM you're looking to flash. This says it's designed for EXT4, Clockwork Mod 3.0.6 compatible. So this is what you're going to need to do. Um, so to download this ROM, you scroll down. I'll post a link in the description. Download standard, download fully loaded. The difference, I believe, is standard is Launcher Pro. Fully loaded is TouchWiz Launcher. So whatever your preference is, standard, fully loaded. After you download them, you click and drag. You mount your SD card from. You mount your SD card on your phone. Plug it into your computer. Click and drag the file to your SD card uh, anywhere. It doesn't matter. You'll be able to find it. Um, and after that, you're you're ready to go because you have the ROM on your SD card. Um, so let's. After you extract your 
um, your root your root folder you got it right here what you're gonna need to make sure you do is if you have an antivirus software on your computer you're gonna need to shut that off before you do this root um, I'll show you I use the uh, antivirus that comes with Microsoft uh, Microsoft security essentials to shut that off go to settings um, and I believe let's see it's advanced no, not advanced. Real-time protection. You click on real-time protect protection, you say uncheck the turn on, and hit save changes. That's how to turn Microsoft Security Essentials off. So I have it off right now. Um, you got to make sure your antivirus software is off, otherwise the root will not work. Um, so before you go to root your phone, what you're going to need to do is go back to your phone, uh, hit uh, menu button, settings, and go to applications. Uh, you're going to need to go to development right there uh, and check USB debugging and hit yes. So now that you have USB debugging checked, um, you'll be able to root your phone. Uh, so what you're going to need to do is plug your phone into your computer. Uh, let me do that real quick. Alright, so now that it is plugged in, you should see up at the top of your phone, it says USB debugging connected. Okay, so now you have that on your phone. Uh, go to your desktop, or wherever you saved this folder, this root 3.0.6. Double click on it. What you're going to need to do is click double click on run. Right there. That batch file. So you hit run brings up this command prompt it says press any key to continue I press enter key any key works um, and you let it do its thing uh, basically it'll say ADB connection will be reset restart ADB server on desktop and relog in you ignore this message it will do it automatically then it will say wait for phone to reconnect uh, you just gotta be patient with this I found that it takes a decent amount of time to wait so uh, depending on your computer and everything like that, uh, just be patient with it. It will work um, unless it says there was an error. And if there was an error, what you can do is you can exit out of the one-click root. See, I didn't have an error. It, re it reconnected my phone, so now it's installing everything. If you do have an error, you can always exit out of the one-click root, shut your phone off, reboot it, uh, and try it again. Uh, you can always try different USB ports on your computer. Uh, like I said, get a, a different micro USB cable. So now that it says read finished, it will reboot my phone. Like so. And then eventually it will say cleaning up files. And it should say press any key to continue. So you press any key to continue. It basically just exits out of it. Reboots my phone. So now that it's booted up, I will unlock and show you guys that I am now rooted. Basically what you'll need to do is... Go to applications, and right there, you'll see that super user is installed. That means you rooted properly. Uh, you're all rooted using 3.0.6. 3.0.0.6. Okay, so after you unplug your phone from the computer, you'll need to shut your phone off. So power off. Uh, just a reminder, um, make sure you do have the ROM on the SD card before you do what I am about to do. Uh, what's going to happen is going to convert your system and you're going to need to flash in the ROM right after it converts your system. <clears throat> Alright, so now that the phone shut off, you are going to need to boot into Clockwork. To do this, what you're going to need to do is press the volume down button, the camera button, and the power button all at the same time. So you Press them all at the same time, hold it. I usually hold it till the bottom soft keys light up those keys, so then you can let go. And basically what it's gonna do is it's going to convert your file system from RFS to EXT4. Um, this is, this, it'll only do this after the first time you root. Um, it takes a long time, over, over five minutes, so let it go, be patient with it. I'll be back when it's done converting. Okay, so now that the file system has been converted to ext4, it will say restore complete at the bottom. Uh, basically, I forgot to mention, uh, make sure that you have decent amount of battery life before you do this root process. Uh, 
you just want to make sure that your phone doesn't shut off while it's converting or rooting or anything like that so make sure you have probably over half battery life still um, okay so now to work through, to uh, go through this clockwork uh, basically you have different options that you use the arrow the volume keys up and down to choose between them and then you hit the camera button to select whatever one you want so what you're going to need to do is before you flash any ROM what you need to do is you need to wipe data wipe cache and wipe Delvic cache I will show you how to do all of these things uh, so to wipe data you go down two things and it should say wipe data factory reset right there the third one down you press the camera button and then you need to go to yes delete all user data so basically what you'll need to do is you'll need to do this three times just to be safe uh, so there's two just do the same thing three times wipe in data okay so now you wipe data you gotta wipe your cache so it's the fourth one down go to wipe cache press the camera button hit yes and as well as that do wipe it three times just to be safe so wipe cache and then you need to go down to the second one to the bottom it's advanced go to that one press advanced and you go to the second one down it says wipe delvic cache you press wipe delvic cache and you do that one three times as well okay so now you're ready to go you're ready to install your ROM so you go back to the, you hit go back uh, you go down to the fifth one down it says install zip from SD card you press that and then you go down one and you say choose zip from SD card uh, basically wherever you put the ROM on your SD card that's where it's going to be and that's where you need to go to right now I have it right here uh, basically I have both versions the um, the fully loaded and standard whatever one you want to use uh, I'm gonna install the fully loaded one fully loaded with TouchWiz standards with Launcher Pro um, so you click on the ROM and then you go to yes install syndicate frozen 1.1.0 you hit yes uh, basically it's going to update the package and install the ROM okay so now that the ROM is finished uh, it rebooted my phone uh, sometimes on the first time I flash this ROM it might not work uh, basically if it doesn't work like this see it's it's doing this it covers the S with flashing Android basically that means it was just a bad flash uh, all you got to do is pull the battery um, after you pull the battery out uh, it'll shut it off after you do that basically you boot back into clockwork Press the volume down, camera button, and power button at the same time. After you do this, you're back into clockwork. Um, once you're back into clockwork, what you'll need to do is the same process as before. Wipe data, wipe cache, and wipe Dalvik three times. Another problem that you could come with if, if you continually have bad flashes with ROMs, you might have a bad download. I would suggest re-downloading the ROM. Um, you can always Odin back to stock and update to EC05 and then reroute and then reflash the ROM and then wipe. make sure you wipe data, cache, and Dalvik. Uh, make sure you do that before you flash any ROM and make sure you always have the ROM in your SD card before you convert your file system to ext4 so now that I've wiped all those three times I'm gonna install zip from SD card choose the zip and install it again it'll take a little while to install I'll be right back okay so now the, that the ROM has been flashed it's going to say install from SD card complete at the bottom um, basically what you're gonna want to do is hit um, is hit go back um, and after you hit go back you're going to want to hit reboot system now basically that's the top one just hit reboot system now and after you reboot the first boot up is going to take a while so you're going to have to be patient um, if you continue having problems don't be afraid to ask me any questions just leave me a comment or send me a message I'll be happy to help um, I'm going to let this boot up and then I will be right back 
Okay, so now that my phone has booted up, uh, I'm now running Syndicate Frozen ROM 1.1.0 fully loaded. Uh, to show you this, I'm going to hit Menu, Settings, About Phone, and under Build Number, it says SRF 1.1.0, Twilight Zone 1.1.0. Um, yeah, so that is how you will need what you'll need to do to root your phone and flash a custom ROM. If you have any questions, just ask. Any suggestions for future videos will be greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching, and I hope this helps.